Hi, this is Katie Pertit. And today I'm gonna to show you some different laser cut effects that you can do with simple PNGs available in the store and also as a free download in the comments below this video. I'm gonna start in Photoshop and I'm gonna first, I'm gonna open up and show you the freebie that you can get in the download. And it's this cute little heart freebie with a bunch of heart shapes. And there's a lot of things that you can do with this that I'm gonna show you. Okay, the first thing I wanna show you is the page that I created. So I'm gonna show you this effect of how you get the laser cut effect with a raised shadow effect with your papers. So I'm gonna start by creating a 12 by 12 scrapbook page. And I always do it in RGB at 3,600 pixels. And I'm gonna bring in my background paper. I'm using the Looking for Love add-on pattern papers. And on for my top paper, I'm using the My Vintage Valentine's solid papers. So you can see we're positioning the two papers in here. And I'm going to bring in my heart PNG and position it so. There's a few ways that you can do this. I'm going to turn off the visibility. I'm going to go to my top layer and command and hover over the icon and you'll see the selection box and I click and I make it makes it an active selection. I can do this a few ways. I could just delete or I could go to image layer, layer mask and hide selection. The reason I would do it this way is because I can unlock it and I can move the mask around on my page. When you delete it, it becomes fixed and you can't change it. After I've made the mask, go to layer, layer style, and we're gonna add the drop shadow to get the raised effect. You can have it as slight or as far as you'd like it by adjusting the distance. You can also make it a subtle shadow or a more dramatic one by adjusting your opacity as well with your size and your spread. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here and click okay. And then you can bring in your other elements like I did here on top to create your finished page. Now there's other ways that you can use this mask. I'm going to Remove this layer mask. And we're gonna bring this below here. And again, holding down the command and hovering over the icon, I can click layer, layer mask, reveal selection, and I've got a cut paper. So it's not cutting out the bottom, it's just placing a cutout paper on the top. And again, you can add the drop shadow. So there's a few other ways I wanted to show you. We're gonna go ahead and just close this and close that. So taking laser cuts a little bit further, let's think about templates. And I'm gonna show you here in the photo strips um, scrap pack templates. This works easier in the solid cut shapes, not the painted shapes. I'm gonna go ahead and select all of these items and group them so that they're easier to turn on and off for me. I'm going to bring in a solid color paper and this is going to essentially be my background paper and close, turn off visibility on the masks and hold down the command key and click 
hold down the shift key so it turns to a plus to select additional layers. And again, I can either hit delete or I can go up to layer mask and hide selection. Go to layer, layer style, add your drop shadow. And there you've created a really cool window effect to put your photos in. So let's bring in some photos. We'll start with these fun horse photos from my aunt's horse farm. And now you can see, okay, it, it hangs over. There's a few ways that you can handle this. You can command click and go to select and inverse and delete, or you could command click, go to layer, layer mask and reveal the selection. All right, we're gonna bring in our other images. This one below and a third one. And it really shows how quick and easy it is to make a page with this technique. And you can see my photo is not large enough, just gonna scale it up a bit. So it's be sure to fill in the entire shape. And there you have it, a really nice window effect. You can bring back your cluster. I can bring in some paint. I'm gonna bring this back to the top layer using shift and option and hitting delete that will fill my paint layer with the foreground color. Now, I don't want, of course, the paint to go over my photos. So again, click and shift to select it all, layer, layer mask, and hide selection, or you could simply delete it as well. Experiment with the blend modes, and you can continue this with the other stamps that are also in this template. And we're gonna do the same thing, layer, layer mask, hide selection. Oops, that was a reverse. And command I will just reverse that out. And there you go. That's another way. There's lots of templates in the store that would work well for this style. We go ahead and close this and show you one more way that you can do this. And that is with an alphabet. Alphabets are a great way to use the layer cut, laser cut effect. All right. So we're gonna fill a background layer with white. I'm gonna fill a foreground layer with blue. And I'm gonna go up to the little demo I grabbed here and grab the ampersand, drag that into my page and then make it a little bit bigger. Turn off the visibility, go to my top layer, command click, layer, layer mask, hide selection, layer, layer style, drop shadow and add my laser cut effect. You could put a pattern paper behind it or you could put a photo behind it too. Bring that photo in. And there you go. Lots of different things you can do with the laser cut effect. So thanks for coming and watching. And I hope to see you again soon. We will have lots more demonstrations to come. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you at katiepartikdesigns.com.